morning, Wolf Pack. My name is Joseph Jefferson. And I'm Mei Han Duen. Today is Thursday, September 19th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Attention to juniors and seniors. Fall 2024 applications to apply for CSF are available. You can pick up the application in Ms. Heron's room, HJ5. The application drive will run to September 27th. For more information, you can check your Synergy email. Are you interested in performing during lunch? ASB is looking for singers, dancers, instrument players, and more interested performers. For your chance to perform, please scan the QR code on screen for the Google form. Submissions are due October 4th at 4 p.m. No late submissions will be accepted. Check your Synergy email or contact Mrs. Henderson for any questions. The COHS wrestling team is currently having preseason practices on Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. in the wrestling room, which is located between the dance and athletic director's rooms. For questions, contact Coach Curtis by emailing consumedisoakswrestling at gmail.com and check out the COHS wrestling team Instagram. Now let's tune into the news with Summer and Everett. Good morning, Wolfpack. My name is Summer Saeed. And I'm Everett Dugan, and we're here with your In the News Update. On Tuesday, a 13-year-old girl was accused for making online threats of violence targeting Chimawa Middle School and specific students as well. The student, who is still unidentified, has been arrested and booked at Riverside County Juvenile Detention Facility for her criminal threats against the school and fellow students. This isn't the first of many violent threats sent to schools, as since the Appalachian shooting in Georgia, more and more threats have been occurring, worrying parents, students, and teachers. On another note, the Titan submarine that imploded last year, killing five wealthy individuals that wanted to see the Titanic, has been found. The former operations director for Ocean Gate, the company behind the expedition, says he alerted the company to safety concerns but was largely ignored. Video footage was released yesterday of parts of the submarine that were discovered by the U.S. Coast Guard. The submarine is in shambles and looks like something straight out of Subnautica. We have yet to find any bodies, but it is clear they're dead, as no one could have survived the catastrophic implosion. Well, that's all the news we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Summer Saeed. And I'm Everett Dugan. Let's, Let's go, go back, back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. Thanks for the update, guys. Tomorrow is our first parent luncheon of this year. Remember that parents must have a valid ID and sign in at the front office. Other family members must be accompanied with a parent or guardian. Lawn chairs and blankets are highly encouraged, but don't forget that DoorDash, Grubhub, or other delivery services must be dropped off at the gates of the MP room. No office drop-offs will be accepted. You can check your Synergy email for more information. We hope to see you there. Lunch meditation rooms are now open for both lunches if you need a pl place for quiet reflection or prayer. Meditation rooms are indicated with these signs in the window. Meditation rooms will have prayer rugs, rosaries, coloring, reverse coloring pages, and QR codes for meditation apps. Some rooms will also have yoga mats, and you are welcome to come and relax here after you have finished eating. Here is the current meditation room schedule. Homecoming will be taking place next Saturday, September 28th. This year's theme is Once Upon a Time. Tickets are now on sale, $20 with ASB and $25 without. Guest passes cost $30 and require an ASB card. The no privileges list will be enforced. For more information, check your Synergy email. Attention seniors, do you want to learn about the post-secondary financial aid process? Well, you're in luck. Financial Aid Night is next Thursday, September 26th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the MP room. This meeting will announce changes to 2025 to 2026 FAFSA applications, the financial aid process, applying for grants and scholarships, and much more. CUHS Vietnamese Student Association is having a fundraiser at Hyper T on Saturday, September 21st from 1 to 7 p.m. The address is 5650 Whitelock Parkway. Please come to support their fundraiser. Well, that's all we have for today, Wolfpack. Have a thrilling Thursday. I'm Joseph Jefferson. And I'm he Mayhem Duma. And remember, the strength of the pack is a wolf. And the strength of the wolf is a pack. Happy, Happy National, National Talk, Talk Like a Pirate, pirate Day, Wolfpack. Arrgh!